What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is the Hummel Lecture and today we got another bootleg KO knockoff, whatever you want to call it. This is the SHF Spider-Man 2099 and one of the things I'm really excited about this is the fact that it is made out by CT who has already done the Tobey Maguire and Miles Morales SHF figures. So I'm really excited because they actually do a really good job and I'm really excited for this figure to, and just to show you guys because it just did recently release. And uh, I think you can get it for about 20 bucks, $20. I got mine from Shopee, which does get stuff from China. So it's very similar to how AliExpress works. It took me about seven to 10 days to get it into my hand here in Malaysia. Very, very nice. Of course, if you guys want to get the original, it goes for about like, what, 100, 120, 130 bucks. Amazing. I mean, this is just like 10, like 20% of it. So yeah, we're gonna see whether it's 20% of the quality. So in terms of the packaging here, you can see that it's all ripped up very, very bad. I mean, come on, look at this. Someone in the factory wasn't paid well. They got angry. They just ripped this whole damn thing off. It's so, so bad. I mean, it's not even dented. I get dented box like for knockoffs, but rip, this is the first time. I might just get another figure here. Hopefully that will come in nicely and I'll just throw off this box. I am a box collector, so I just like to keep, even though it's a bootleg. So yeah, I mean, come on, let's just unbox this bad boy up and see what we have inside. Okay, so you actually do get a figure stand, but I don't have it here. I just, you know, put it aside. So this is the figure here. It looks so similar to the original in terms of the whole layout and everything. And it just looks amazing. So far, it looks really, really good. Let's just take this guy off. And bam, this is the figure and this is how it looks like. Before we go on any further, we just want to talk about the accessories here in terms of the hands. We have this open hands here, which you can use it as your wall crawling hands. And also we do have the grabby grabby hands on him with the talons right into that. So we have one pair here as well. And you'll notice there is a good amount of texture and paint on these parts here as well. So still pretty decent quality. So you can see that it kind of stands as it on as it is right here, like the Adams family. And one thing that's really new about this is they give us the his web here, his electronic web. So it's really, really nice. Again, you can use it for maybe your Marvel Legends or whatsoever. I'm gonna put this all to the side. And one more thing that you can actually use from this figure here and that is of course the gauntlet so you can actually use it for again like for your marvel legends or for this figure in case if this figure doesn't work out for you and you have the mini one here which you can use probably for the gwen figure here so yeah we have the multiverse thing here and of course the main thing that a lot of people have mentioned is of course the head sculpts so i'm trying to take this off and boom how can a bootleg, a knockoff, do a better face compared to the original? I mean, look at this. This is straight off from the movie. So, if you guys want to get this figure for the hit, I mean, you imagine you're paying 20 bucks, and I know the prices on this would go down. Sometimes it even hits the 10 or 15 dollar mark. So, for 10 or 15 dollars, you actually get a very good head sculpt here. You can use it for your original SHF. The expression here is really, really nice. I've seen the original head sculpt. I mean, it's decent, but not movie accurate. This is so much better. I mean, if you even if you get a 3D scan to do this, a 4D scan or whatever, you know, you're not gonna get this quality and this cheap anyway. And yeah, you can actually use it for your Marvel Legends as well. The expression on him is really nice. The hit is a little bit off in terms of some like paint splotches or whatsoever, but who cares? The expression on this is really, really nice. I am very impressed with the head sculpt here, but I'm not done there. We have the figure here looking really, really awesome. First things first, when you touch it, when you feel it in your hand, it does feel kind of the cheap plastic material. Definitely, definitely. You're not gonna get the Marvel Legends here, the kind of quality plastic or maybe the original SHF. I don't have the original, so I can't really compare. But you don't really have that kind of really good plastic feel, but it still looks really, really good. I mean, look at the texture on him all around. 
the painting on him as well. I mean, you might get some spotches, some botches, you know, here and there. But look at this amazing amount of details, even on the back here. CT, this is the best one that CT has done. So if they're going to do like any other like No Way Home characters, I'm going to buy it because you can see that the quality from the Tobey Maguire and also the Mouse Morales and up to this, they have really made a lot of improvements. I am so liking this figure. Definitely going to get it one more once the price drops on him and put him into my display. And of course, this figure does come with the same issue as the original. And what I mean by that is the, the torso here, I already did switch it up, but the original had this problem on the bottom here. And it's the same thing with this. So I think they followed the whole same schematics on him. So it's actually very easy to take it off, unlike the Sentinel Peter B. Parker, but this one's very easy. So you can actually take it off yourself and then reattach it back. And then you can put the figure back here. And yeah, it's not bad. You get a very good crunch here. Some squeaky squeaky here and there, but that is all very normal. So with that being said, now let's just go on to articulation on him. So here, so far it hasn't broken on me. Head can go up this much. You can go down here very fair bit. The neck here, very, very nicely. You can rotate it and swivel it all around here. You can rotate it as much as you want. And of course, if you want to use the head here, you can do so whatsoever. Let me try to take this off and put the... Oh my goodness, this is so, so good. This is so good. Let me try to put it in. That's what she said. And let's see what we get. So this is how he actually looks like. The, for mine, the, pack, the ball hinge there doesn't really go in all the way for this because it's a little bit more shallow. So the neck would look a little bit longer. So this is how it actually looks like. Very, very weird, I would say. So I would kind of just switch it back to the original here. And just say if I were just to do a head sculpt change here. Let's see how it would actually look like. So this is how he would actually look like. Again, a little bit longer on the neck, but still really, really good. I'm just so blown away by the quality of this knockoff here because it's actually very, very good and decent. So I'm going to put it back to his masthead and go back to articulation. So yeah, not too bad. And of course, in terms of the shoulder joints here, you have that kind of bicep swivel here and uh, yeah you do have like that kind of extra articulation so yeah you're gonna get a nice t pose on him and yeah bicep swivel like i mentioned and in terms of the elbow joints here goes back very very nicely and it doesn't break off so that's really really nice and of course when it comes to the wrist here you have some nice ball hinge movement so you can rotate it as much as you want move it as your heart desires and of course, when it comes to the app crunch, once you made that modification, the upper torso can go forward this much here, very, very nicely. Once you get the gaps here, you kind of have to push this back in to let it go back up. So it goes back this much. And on lower waist as well, you can crunch forward. So maximum wise, very, very nicely done here. And yeah, I mean, you get your nice swivel here, some nice squeaky squeaky here as well. So it's not very loose whatsoever. And going on to the hips, you can spread out this much, maximum, not too bad. And you can kick forward here and upper thigh swivel as you would expect with this. I do recommend you to heat up your figures, mine's a little bit tight. Knees can go back this much, very, very nicely. And for the toes, we have some toe articulation and the feet does have the ball hinge movement here as well. Okay, so for some comparisons here, we have the Marvel Legends 2099 and the knockoff here. So in terms of size, they are very similar to each other. This one here definitely does have more details on him and I really like this more compared to this Marvel Legends here, which does look very, very kiddish for my liking. But uh, yeah, I mean, they do scale pretty well. So if you guys want this into your set, Oh yeah, he doesn't have the wings on him here, the cape on him, which is pretty interesting. I'm not sh sure if the original actually had it, but uh, it is what it is. And we're going to do another comparison here. So what I'm going to do is take out some other knockoff figures here. Alright, so here we have him next to the Tobey Maguire, also done by CT. Very nicely done. This is probably the first 
Second is done by also CT here. We have the Miles Morales. I don't have the SHF Gwen. I might do it in the future. And this one wasn't done by CT. So you can see that the quality is very, very bad and poor on the Doc Ock suit. But of course, the amazing one here is the 2099. I think this is the best knockoff figure you're going to get there. I think if you give this to a lot of people, they can't even tell it's a fake because it is so good. And definitely the fact that I want to get one more to be added to my collection so I can use the Miguel O'Hara hit over here. I think that speaks volume on the quality of this figure. So let me just try to use the Miguel hit on the Marvel Legends. And uh, yeah, I mean definitely I'm not gonna be able to fit it in unless you remove the peg inside there. So yeah, I mean, still a very, very good figure and uh, definitely really great to try on. So yeah, very nice. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll check it out. And uh, yeah, one more thing I want to talk about here, the torso on the top feels a little bit loose and uh, looks like it's going to maybe break in the future at the point here. But uh, overall, it's still very good. So yes, if you guys enjoyed the video, do click the like and smash the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.